Dog runs away daily, so owner secretly follows him. They loved the fact that they had adopted an older dog, but they were well aware of the risks that accompanied it. All these dogs have previous lives with other owners. This means that they all have their own unique baggage. One man found out the hard way when his adopted dog came with worrying habits, habits that would make it hard for him to sleep at night. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Ali wanted to adopt a dog rather than go out and buy one. He knew how much more it meant to the dog if he did it. He took in Caesar, who used to be his father's dog and seemed like the perfect furry companion. He was loyal and loving, and what more could he want in a dog? But once he got him home, he showed him what it was really like. At first, Caesar seemed to fit in perfectly. He was like everyone in his past was left there. He was happy to be a part of his new family. But soon enough, Caesar started to do something that made Ollie's stomach twist into a knot, worrying about the safety of his animal. Like clockwork, whenever Ollie got ready for work in the morning, Caesar would simply escape through the front door. He would squeeze through the smallest gap when the door opened and would run down the road. Ollie couldn't afford the time to go running after him and had to go to work. He didn't have a choice. Ollie couldn't concentrate while at work. He was worried sick for his little companion. Even if he did wait for him at the front door when he got back, he wondered where he went off to during the day. The day he finally found out about his dog's trips during the day, his heart was broken. Ollie couldn't help but feel a little betrayed by Caesar when he kept escaping at every opportunity that presented itself. Did he not take a liking to him? His father had never mentioned this problem. He was sure it had only appeared once he adopted Caesar. Maybe he had too much energy and needed to be walked more. Ollie promised himself that he would be a better owner to Caesar. He walked him way more regularly and even played fetch with him in the park. Even when he hurt himself at the park, Ollie nursed him back to health. Maybe it was more of a trust issue than anything else. He just hoped that he would trust him enough not to wander off. A few weeks passed with the same result. Each day he would wander off somewhere and Ollie just hoped that he would adjust and calm down. But maybe he needed to be treated for this. But if Ali wanted to treat his dog's problem, he would have to figure out where he wandered off to every day. He'd have to go after him. Ali lived in northwestern Turkey in a busy town called Bursa. It was a close community, so he knew everyone and everyone knew him. Thankfully, the community was there to support Ali with his recent problems, but it seemed that there were others that weren't so interested in his well-being. Animal Control came around twice to check on Caesar. Apparently, someone had called complaining about the way he had treated his dog but Ali would never mistreat his companion. Ali explained to Animal Control that they had something of their own to tell him they would have the stomach twisting in a knot. Animal Control cautioned him that dogs usually run away due to frustration and fear. They were suspecting him of mistreating poor Caesar, but he absolutely wasn't and never would. He knew that there was another explanation for this. Frustrated, he hung up and called work to let them know that he wouldn't be working tomorrow. Instead, he was going to find out exactly what Caesar was up to. Ali would take the day off to figure out where his furry friend was going each morning. He pretended to get ready for work, and like every other day, Caesar ran out the door. This time, Ali was ready and followed him down a path he clearly was familiar with. When Ali finally realized where his dog had gone every day for the past few weeks, he would feel his heart shatter into a hundred pieces. Ali kept his distance so that his companion wouldn't realize he was there. He wanted Caesar to act exactly how he had every other day for the past few weeks. He would soon find out more about his mysterious ventures. Caesar walked for five blocks, turning left, then right, then left again, until Ali realized something very sad. He knew exactly where his dog was going every day. Ali had followed Caesar to the cemetery and watched him stop at one particular grave. Ali couldn't believe it. The faithful companion truly was loyal and loving. He'd walked all the way to his previous owner every day. He would sit in front of the grave of 79-year-old Mamet Ilhan. The two had a bond that Ali could never understand. Mamet passed away suddenly a few weeks later, and when his coffin was brought home to prepare for the funeral, Caesar wouldn't leave his owner's side. When a procession formed to carry the coffin to a local mosque, the dog refused to move away. Caesar insisted on leading the procession, and the other guests followed but they were yet to learn the extent of his grief. During the funeral, Caesar sat at the foot of the coffin. 
He had his head hanging sadly as if he was mourning. This is how Caesar remained the entire time. Nobody could touch him until my father was taken to the grave and was buried, said Ali. Caesar watched his owner being laid to rest, but sadly it gave him no closure and his behavior continued to change. Although dogs don't cry as humans do, they do show real grief. When dogs are sad, instead of shedding tears, they'll show their sadness by whining, folding their ears back, crouching, or refusing to make eye contact. They'll also look like they lack confidence, and if a dog is whining, he's telling you that he feels unsafe and is looking to you for assurance. Caesar was displaying most of the above behaviors. It was obvious he was in mourning. Even though the little dog now lived at home with Ali, Mamet's son, he was still pining for Mamet. Every day since the funeral, Caesar escaped and ran through town to the burial site to sit with his old friend. But it wasn't until Ali followed him that he realized what the loyal dog was doing every day. The people who work in the cemetery say the first thing he does in the morning is visit the grave of my father, said Ali. On this day, Ali and Caesar sat side by side and paid their respects together. But Ali had no idea that he was just touching the surface of the grief Caesar felt. His heart broke once more when he saw what lay on the ground. Ali even saw the paw prints that Caesar had left on the grave on previous occasions, which only confirmed the pup's loyalty. Ali's not sure how long Caesar's daily visits to the cemetery will continue or if he'll ever really recover from the loss of his beloved master. One thing is certain, however, Ali had to do something. Ali knew that Caesar was a noble, loyal dog and had also been a loving companion during the last years of his father's life. In return, Ali promised that the little dog won't have to face the future on his own. Caesar has always been a noble animal, said Ali. He'll live with me from now on. But how would Ali ease his pain? Ali was fulfilling his promise of staying with Caesar and giving him all the attention and love that he needed, but it still wasn't enough. Caesar continued to display signs of sadness and visit the grave every day. When Ali noticed his appetite was fading, he got worried and rushed to the vet to seek help. When Ali brought Caesar to the vet, word of his heartbreaking tale had already swept their local newspapers. The vets recognized them and rushed over to Ali and Caesar, giving them both their condolences. Ali told the vet that he hadn't been eating well and was worried he might starve himself into oblivion. The vet assured him that although he's experiencing emotional trauma, dog survival instincts are far too strong to willingly starve themselves to death. But they did have a suggestion. They told Ali that Caesar might need more than a human friend to get him through this. They asked Ali to consider getting a companion for Caesar. The idea never popped into Ali's mind, but now it made sense. He wanted Caesar to be the playful pup he once was, and how better to do that than to get another dog that he could play around with? But things didn't work out exactly as planned. Ali went back home with Caesar and was met by his friends, already making themselves at home in the backyard. He had arranged a barbecue the week before and told them he'd be running late. He told his friends that he needed to get Caesar a companion, but that he realized his house didn't have enough space for two dogs. That's when one of his friends offered him a strange solution. His friend had rescued a stray cat a couple of weeks ago and was planning to hand it into the shelter. He suddenly wondered if Ali should just take it instead. She was a gray and black striped beautiful cat who was calm and lively at the same time. He'd grown fond of the cat and wanted to give it to someone he knew would take good care of it. Ali didn't need much convincing. The cat was the perfect addition to his little furry family. The cat, Toby, was slowly introduced to Caesar, who took an immediate shining to her. Toby, on the other hand, was a bit more cautious. However, it didn't take long before she began to feel more comfortable and her playful side took over. She'd pounce on Caesar and had an obsession with catching his tail and nibbling at his ear an action that would always leave Caesar swinging his head, trying to playfully get her to stop. Slowly but surely, Caesar began to light up again. He stopped crouching and whining and slowly began to get his appetite back. Meanwhile, something much, much bigger was happening. Caesar's heartbreaking tale of loss and hardship was going viral across the world. Caesar became widely known as the latest heartbroken dog who also reminded the world of Greyfriars Bobby. Greyfriars Bobby was a Sky Terrier from Scotland who was well known for guarding the grave of his owner for an insane 14 years. They even created a statue for him. The statue of the 19th century pup who passed away in 1872 is located in Edinburgh in Scotland. 
He's still adored by the locals today, and his story continues to be well known by the community. His story of heartbreak and loyalty has even inspired a number of films and books, and it looks like Caesar is set to follow his lead. Whenever Ali and Caesar are out together, they get stopped by people all the time asking after Caesar and wondering how he's doing. At first, Ali found the situation bizarre, as he was also suffering the same loss, but as time continues, he loved the care and attention Caesar got and felt his father was still somehow living through him. When Ali and Caesar appeared on a number of talk shows to tell their story, people couldn't help but pay attention. Often, people would bring their dogs over to play with Caesar and lighten his mood, but they all had one burning question to ask Ali. They asked him if he still visited the grave. Ali would reply, Although he's visibly much more cheerful after all this time, he's never forgot one thing. He never forgot his old master, Mehmet. Caesar continued to walk down to the graveyard and sit with his old friend. Only now he's often accompanied by Ali and Toby the cat in tow. Looking back, Caesar's grievance also helped Ali get through his own feelings of loss and sadness. Thanks to Caesar, Ali didn't feel alone in his grief either, and they got through it together, one day at a time.